Very well done, you found clue number two of the Easter Trail. Congratulations. Can you still remember clue number one, I wonder? Well, here is number two. Watch the video and look out for the clue at the end. Hello and welcome to Holy Trinity Church. I'm Reverend Rachel and I'm going to share with you the story of what happened next after Jesus arrived in Jerusalem. When Jesus came to Jerusalem, the first thing he did was to visit the temple. The temple was a very large building, a special place where people went to pray. But at the temple in Jerusalem, things were not as they should have been. In the place where people were supposed to pray, the courts were full of people selling animals and birds. There were money changers too, people whose job it was to change the Roman coins into coins fit for use in the temple. The people who were selling the animals were charging very large prices that the poor people couldn't afford. And the people who were changing the coins were not doing it fairly and were becoming very rich. When Jesus came to the temple and saw what was happening, he became very angry. He turned over the tables that the money changers were using and he drove out the people who were selling the animals and birds. There were cows and sheep and birds everywhere, and there were coins all over the floor. Jesus said to them, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. The religious leaders and those who ran the temple didn't like what Jesus did, and they decided to try and find a way to have him killed. In our story, we heard how Jesus became angry. I wonder what you think or how you feel about Jesus being angry. More often, we associate Jesus with love and peace. We often think of being angry as something bad. But being angry is not always bad. It depends on what we are angry about and what we do when we are angry. Jesus was angry because what he saw in the temple was wrong. Poor people were coming to the temple to worship God, but were being robbed by the rich people who sold them animals and changed their coins. Jesus could not let this continue to happen, because as well as being a God of love and peace, God is also a God of justice. Today, there are many situations in the world that are not fair. When we get angry on account of injustice, we are standing with Jesus and can use our anger to campaign for a fairer world. Let's pray. God of justice, love and peace, help us to see the world with your eyes. Give us courage to stand up against things which are wrong and unfair. Through the power of your Holy Spirit, Help us to bring changes to make the world a better and more loving place for everyone.